viewers and friends out there, it's Mr. Leonidas. Hope you're doing well. In this video, we'll be taking a close-up look of two of my favorite knife setups of 2017. That is the SE Izula and the SE6. Let's take a close-up look of how I've set up my SE Izula. And here is the knife in the sheath. I have this set up for neck carry. Have a paracord lanyard with a breakaway clasp. I have a YouTube video out there detailing how I set up all of my neck knives. I highly recommend adding a safety breakaway clasp to it if you're going to wear it around your neck. High visibility orange and also I have high visibility orange on the wrap for the skeletonized handle. Now this Izula was originally owned by my brother the Tenacious Z. He carried it for quite some time. Just a fantastic knife many many reviews of this knife out there on YouTube I just want to show you all how I've set up mine I love that venom green and orange combo not only does it look great if you drop this knife you're gonna have a very easy time finding it once again so let's just take a close-up look of how I have set up the sheath so I painted it in what I call toxic multicam and it's a sort of a, a dual tool setup. I have the Izula in the back with a custom Kydex sheath and then on uh, bolted down to the top I have the SE Arrowhead in another custom Kydex sheath. I did not make either one of these sheaths. Uh, I know the Arrowhead sheath came uh, from an eBay seller. I apologize I don't remember the name and also as for the Kydex sheath of the Izula I'm not sure either but if you uh, do some eBay searching I guarantee you will find some custom Kydex sheaths for both of these. I'm going to see if I can get the arrowhead out here. It's a very, very tight fit. There we go. And this is just the perfect neck carry setup. When you have the Izula in there, you have this little backup arrowhead in here. And it's just a very lightweight and compact system. And everything is just, you know, uh, set in there very snugly. Have no fear of the knife falling out or the arrowhead falling out. And it works good, it looks good, and it's just you know a very compact and rugged tool system. And I highly recommend this setup. I've really been enjoying it. We're gonna take a look at my SC6 setup. Let's take a look at the knife in the sheath. Definitely quite a few additions to this. Go ahead and get it out. So I do have a full review on my YouTube channel of the SC6. This is in the Venom Green G10 handle scales. And this awesome paracord lanyard was woven by my friend Survival Craft. He has a great YouTube channel. I have a link in the description box. You know, just a really good matching color combo with the Venom Green and that high visibility orange. Go ahead and set the knife down. Let's take a look how I set up the sheath. And unfortunately, I do not know the original maker's name of the Kydex sheath. I do know it is very high quality because it offers a superb fit, awesome thumb ramp. Now, I actually set up this back piece with the Tech Lock. I'm a very big Tech Lock fan because they work great on belts and also you can attach them to your Molly webbing. But I just really love this setup. I custom camo painted the sheath just like I did on the Azula sheath. I just used Rust-Oleum paints and some uh, multi-cam type stencils. Did you know? Did a couple different color combos, and it turned out scheme that I'm going to call the Toxic Multi-Cam, and I really like it. Unfortunately, the Blackhawk pouch here on the front uh, covers up quite a bit of it, but you can still see, you know, a little bit of the camouflage poking out there, and it looks great. So I'm going to start breaking down the sheath or taking off some of the, you know, the tools and accessories. Show you guys what I. I do have on this. Obviously, you got a ferro rod attached, and I'm not sure the maker of this one, but the sheath did come with this little ferro rod attachment, and I do always keep one on it just in case. So I have zip tied on the front of the pouch. This is a Black Hawk. I believe it is a compass pouch, and it holds quite a bit of stuff. It's in you know coyote tan. That was just about anything. And let's get open the pouch and let's take a look at what we got inside. Let's see here. So start with, I'll go ahead and pull the scissors out. Just some Fiskars scissors. I, I tend to keep 
some scissors on a knife or in like a medical kit. I just find them useful, you know, for many different things. Got a little paracord lanyard on there. Also, big lighter. So I've got two sources of fire making or fire starting, the ferro rod and the big lighter. Also have this little really cool SOG like tool and it has a, like a little diamond sharpener on one side, has a ceramic honing rod and also has a little ferro rod I've yet to use. But it's a really cool little tool, very lightweight, got some nice features on it, it does work. I've definitely used the diamond to hone up and resharpen. A highly recommended little tool. Got some more items in here. Let's get this out. Got some military fuel gel in here. I don't know if I could pronounce that. <laughs> this is pretty good stuff. It's more like a one-use thing. It will pretty much get you a guaranteed fire going in wet conditions. But, you know, like I said, it's, it's kind of a one-use deal. Uh, you cannot reseal this, and you don't want to get it on your hands. So, and lastly, in there, go ahead and close that pouch up. Got a little mini survival tin, and I didn't really fill this up with a whole lot. I think I just, yeah, I just stuck a wet fire in there for now. I may add some more things into this little tin in the future, but I just kind of added this in because I painted it to match the color schemes, and I really liked it. And it's always good to have a little extra backup tin. You never know when you might need it. So these are just the items that I have on my SC6, and, and they might, might change out with some others, but uh, I just kind of like how I set this up, and I worked everything in nice and tight. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and my knife setup. If you did enjoy it, please give me a thumbs up. Also, comment if you can, and uh, subscribe to the channel. Have a good one.